Hello friends and welcome back to my farm. One thing I really need is a way to have access to water, so I will build a water spigot. You said you're looking for a plumber? I'm a plumber. Now you're a plumber? Yeah, that's what I said. No, no. Let me see what's the problem. I can do this. I can build you a spigot. Okay, I think I'm fine. I can do it myself. Okay. Tschüss. Okay, that was strange. Well, let's get started. Follow me. Lass uns anfangen. I went to Home Depot and got a few things. Among them, a stick of rebar, a 4x4 post sleeve, you also need PVC pipe, fittings, PVC glue and a spigot. Let's start by figuring out how long the PVC pipe needs to be. And let's try not to get stuck in a tree. To cut the pipe at the right location, I'm using my miter saw. That gives a very clean cut, just make sure you cut very slow, so the pipe doesn't break. That looks about right. For the next step, I glued together the fitting with the pipe. Before you spread on the glue, make sure you use the primer. Then spread the glue. Once you push the fittings together, make sure you hold them in place, since the glue will push them apart. Now you need a very small piece that goes from the 90 degree to the spigot. That should be the perfect size. And this is how it will look like. The whole setup will be covered by the sleeve. Therefore we have to cut a hole into the sleeve so the spigot can go through. Glue everything together using the PVC glue. Always make sure you hold it together with a little bit of pressure since the glue will try to expand and push the pieces apart. And everything fits perfectly. Now let's attach the whole makeup to the pipe that's in the ground. Again, start with the primer and then spread the glue. Hold it in place. And perfect! To hold the post sleeve in place, I'm using rebar to make the post sleeve stick to the cement in the ground. I only need two small pieces of rebar, therefore I'm using my angle grinder to cut off the two pieces. Cut some holes in the bottom of the post sleeve to slide through the rebar. Slide the rebar through the holes. The last step for the plumbing setup is to screw on the spigot. To keep everything in place, I'm using fast setting cement. First step is to pour some water into the hole, then add the fast setting cement. If you see the cement is too dry, you can easily add some more water. Make sure the post is level. The cement will dry pretty fast. And I would say that looks pretty perfect. I finished off the project with the solar light as a post cover. And we are fertig! <laughs> what do you think? You want to give it a try? Ready? <laughs> it's 
it's working. Isn't that amazing? I love it. I don't know about you, but I am super hot and I'm about to take a rinse. You want to follow along? Join me on Patreon. Otherwise, see you next Friday. Tschüss.